Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about the nitrogen cycle. Now, nitrogen is important to make amino acids so that we can grow, but also it's found in DNA, in the nitrogenous base. Again, without DNA, we can't make cells, and if we can't make cells, we can't grow. Now, around 78% of the air around us right now is nitrogen. However, it's in its unusable form, N2. We're interested in converting it into nitrate ions so it can be used by plants. So now we're going to look at the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen in the air can be converted by nitrogen-fixing bacteria into ammonia gas. Examples of bacteria include rhizobium. Now these bacteria can be found alone in the soil or in the root nodules of plants. What are they doing there? Well, they're forming a mutualistic relationship with the plant. The plant benefits and so does the bacteria. Once we have ammonia, this will dissolve in the moisture of the soil and turn into ammonium ions. Next, nitrifying bacteria such as nitrosomonas convert the ammonium ions into nitrites. We're almost there. One more nitrifying bacteria such as nitrobacter then converts the nitrites into nitrates. Perfect, all that hard work and finally we have nitrate ions. This is then taken up by active transport into plants, where it gets combined with alpha glucose to form amino acids. This then makes proteins and the plant can grow. Through feeding, these proteins then make their way into animals. We know nothing lives forever, so animals and plants eventually die, <clears throat> and their nitrogen compounds get converted back into ammonia. This process is called ammonification, and it's done by saprobionts. These are bacteria or fungi that love to feed on dead material. Okay, almost finished. Now there's one more bacteria that we have to mention. Nobody's really a big fan of them because they convert nitrates back into nitrogen gas. And this process is called denitrification. So all that hard work to make nitrates and then they get converted back into nitrogen gas by denitrifying bacteria. So why do they do this? Well, these bacteria live in waterlogged soil. Soil which has low oxygen concentration, or you could say they live in anaerobic conditions. As a result, they take nitrates, rip off the oxygen so that they can use it for respiration and leaving us with nitrogen gas. Okay, so if you're a farmer that's interested in maximizing your crop yield, or maybe you're just a plant that loves watching nitrogen cycle videos, then listen up. This, this, and this, these bacteria are good for plants because they are involved in the chain from nitrogen gas in the atmosphere to making nitrates. However, this bacteria is not so good for plants. Now, one final point on how you can remove denitrifying bacteria from your soil. If you plow the soil, this will aerate it and as a result, it will prevent the buildup of denitrifying bacteria. Remember, these guys love to live in anaerobic conditions. So if you bring in oxygen, they won't survive. And that is the nitrogen cycle. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.